everybody! So glad to see you guys again. So today, in the beginning of our class, I would like to show you a short film I made. Okay. Two young men in flimsy gowns trudged along in the teeth of a raging blizzard. They were Yang Jiao Ai and Zuo Bo Tao. Zuo Bo Tao was of a weak constitution, and he walked more and more slowly, scarcely able to keep on his feet on the slippery road. Yang Jiao Ai hastened to assist his friend. Zuo Bo Tao fell to the ground and told Yang Jiao Ai, "I don't have a drop of energy left in my body." You go on and don't worry about me. If you come to a village ahead, bring some people back to find me. Greatly concerned, his friend asked him if he was able to get to his feet again. But Zuo Bo Tao said, "It's no good. I can't walk anymore. The ground's too frozen. Please be good enough to help me to a rock which I can sit down and rest on." When Yang Jiao Ai returned with the rock. He saw that Zuo Bo Tao had divested himself of all his clothes and was almost frozen to death. With his last breath, Zuo Bo Tao managed to stammer, "Yang Jiao Ai, take both our clothes and keep walking. Take all the rice buns with you as well, and get to Chu as quickly as you can. When you get there, you must strive to fulfill the ambition of both of us." With that, he passed away. When he arrived in Chu, Yang Jiao Ai quickly gained the favor of King Yuan. He helped the kingdom of Chu win many victories in battle. When the king asked him whether he wanted a higher position or a good fortune, Yang Jiao Ai cared nothing for fame and wealth. His only concern was to give his old friend Zuo Bo Tao a proper burial. Wow, I'm so touched by this story. So now let's try and figure out a way to retell the story easily, so that we can share this beautiful story with our friends and family as well. Firstly, this story is about two friends. Let's take a look at the detailed information about each of them. Zuo Bo Tao, highly talented scholar of the Spring and Autumn period. Wanted to join King Yuan of Chu's court, of a weak constitution, his learning was not up to the standard of Yang's. Didn't want to hold his friend back. Now something about Yang Jiao Ai, highly talented scholar of the Spring and Autumn period, wanted to join King Yuan of Chu's court. Strong, cared a lot for his friend, kept in mind their old affection. Even after success, okay. So now let's learn and create our own stories. Now, in this part of the class, we are going to talk about how to create our own story based on the model of the story of Yang Jiao Ai and Zuo Bo Tao. In other words, we are going to learn how to tell a story. 好的，在这一部分课程中，我们将会根据羊角哀和左伯桃的故事要点来创作属于我们自己的故事。换句话说，我们要学一个讲涵盖以下内容的故事。One, deep friendship. Two, personal sacrifice for others. Three, friendship between contrasting characters. 第一个，深厚的友谊。第二个，为了他人自我牺牲。第三个，性格迥异的人与人之间的友谊。First of all, let's talk a little bit about where you can find such stories. One place to look is books about history. You can particularly look at stories about times of great difficulty, such as the anti-Japanese war, in which people made great sacrifices for each other. You can look at books with Biographies of famous people. You are sure to find that most famous people had a special friendship in their life. Another place is to go to local museums to find stories about local heroes. 
。首先，我们来说一下你在哪里能找到这类故事。历史书籍上是会有的，你也可以看看名人传记，你肯定会找到讲述他们生命中伟大友谊的故事。还有一个地方就是当地的博物馆，在那儿你可以找到关于当地英雄的故事。You must remember, though, that a story doesn't have to be about someone famous. So you can also find great stories by talking to older members of your family, like grandparents. Ask them about important friends in their life, and you're sure to find some touching anecdotes. 你一定要记住，你的故事。不一定是关于名人的，所以你也可以通过跟家里的长辈了解情况，来获得更好的素材。比如，问你的爷爷，问他们生命中遇到了哪些重要的朋友，你肯定能找到一些感人的素材。However, finding the story is just the first step. Next, we must learn how to construct the story. 找到故事啊，只是第一步。接下来，咱们得学会。构思这个故事。First of all, a short story needs to focus around one particular incident. In the story of Yang Jiaoai and Zuo Bo Tao, the incident was Zuo Bo Tao sacrificing himself on their journey. That incident was the proof of their deep friendship. So, in your story, you need to find an incident or event that reveals and demonstrates how deep. The friendship between your two characters was. It will be best if this incident has an element of personal sacrifice. 首先，一个简短的故事需要专注在一个左右的具体事件。在羊角哀和左伯桃的故事中，事件是左伯桃在旅途中的牺牲了自己。这个事件是他们深厚友谊的证明。所以啊。在你的故事中，你需要找到一个事件来揭示你的两个角色之间友谊有多么的深。最好这个故事中有一个人能做出相应的牺牲。But you cannot just start your story by telling the main incident. You need to build up to it. How to build up to it? 但是呢，你不能一上来就讲主要事件，你需要铺垫一下。怎么铺垫呢 ？First of all. You need to begin with background information, all the information you need to understand the when, where, and who of your two main characters. When did your characters live? Where were they? And who were they? What kind of job do they do? How did they get to know each other? In our story about Yang Jiao Ai and Zuo Bo Tao, we were told that they lived in the Warring States period. That they were scholars and that they were young. So that is going to be your first few sentences. 首先，你得在一开始讲一讲背景信息，需要把你的两个角色 when, where, who 说清楚。你的角色生活在什么年代？他们是哪里人？他们是谁？他们做的什么工作？他们是怎么认识对方的？那在我们的故事中，杨角哀和左伯桃生活在。战国时期，他们是学者，他们很年轻。这些都应该是你开头几句话的内容。What are you going to describe next? Well, next is to describe what is necessary to lead up to your main incident. So you need to think backwards from that main incident to all the things that your audience needs to know. To understand the incident, what other things happened first that led up to the incident? Let's look back at our text. What were the incidents leading up to Zuo Bo Tao's sacrifices? 你之后该描述什么呢？之后你应该描述是什么引发了你的主要事件。所以你应该想到，在主要事件之外，你的观众还需要了解哪些内容，来帮助他们理解这件事。哪些其他事情导致了这个事件？我们来看一下文本是什么引发了左伯桃的牺牲。We needed to know that they went on a journey. 我们需要知道他们踏上了一段旅程。But before that, we needed to understand why they went on a journey. 
。但在这之前，我们需要知道他们为什么踏上这个旅程。In the case of our story, we know that they went on a journey to work for the king of Chu. 在故事中，我们知道他们是为了楚王踏上这段旅程。In your story, the incident may not happen on a journey. Maybe it happens on a battlefield. Maybe at some place of work, like a factory. Maybe it happens in someone's house. 那么在你的故事中，这个事件可能不是发生在旅途中，或许它发生在战场上，或许发生在某个类似工厂的工作地点。又或许它发生在某个人的家里。Wherever it happens, though, you need to give the background information as to why your two characters ended up being where they were, and in what situation when the incident takes place. 无论它发生在哪，你需要给出背景信息来解释你的两个角色为什么最终出现在那里。并且在事件发生的时候，他们处在什么样的环境中 ？As we lead up to the incident, this is also a perfect opportunity to say a few words to describe the two friends. How do their characters contrast one another? 当我们演出这个事件时，这也是一个很好的机会，来用几个词介绍一下两个朋友的性格，他们的性格到底有哪些不同？ Finally, after describing the incident, you should conclude the story by describing what happened to the two friends after the incident and how the incident developed the friendship. 最终结束描绘事件的时候，你通过介绍事件结束后这两个朋友变得怎么样了，以及事件是如何升华了二人的友谊，来总结一下这个故事。So now. You have learned a way to tell a story about friendship. Let's now summarize these main parts. 现在呢，你学会了一个讲关于友谊故事的方法。咱们来总结一下几个要点吧。You need to give relevant background information. Where, when, who. 第一点，你需要给出相关的背景信息。Where, when, who. Number two, you need to describe all the stages. Leading to your main incident. During this part, describe how your two characters' personalities contrast. 你需要描述导致主要事件的所有过程。在这个部分，来描述你的两个角色性格上的差异。Number three, you then need to describe your main incident, which should be an incident which proves the friendship. Hopefully, a story of sacrifice, where one sacrifices himself in some way for the other. 第三点之后，你应该描述主要事件，这应该是一个证明了友谊的事件，最好是一个关于牺牲的故事，也就是一个人为另一个人的牺牲。Number four, conclusion: What happened to the two friends after the incident? 第四点总结：两个朋友在事件之后。又发生了什么样的事情 ？Now identify these parts in the story of Yang Jiao Ai and Zhou Bo Tao by placing quotes in the following table. Take a look. Story parts quotation from Yang Jiao Ai and Zhou Bo Tao. So remember the first one. You need to give relevant background information. Where, when, and who. In our story, where, when, who. Yang Jiao Ai and Zhou Bo Tao. They lived in the Warring States period. They were scholars, and then that they were young. Number two, you need to describe all the stages leading to your main incident. During this part, describe how your two characters' personalities contrast. Let's see in the story. They went on a journey to work for the king of Chu. Zhou Bo Tao of a weak constitution. Yang Jiao Ai, strong. Okay, number three. You then need to describe your main incident, which should be an incident which proves the friendship. Hopefully, a story of sacrifice where one sacrifices himself in some way for the other. In our story, Zhou Bo Tao didn't want to hold his friend back, 
So he asked Yang Jiao Ai to get a rock for him, and he divested his clothes during the time Yang Jiao Ai was gone. Number four, conclusion. What happened to the two friends after the incident? So in our story, Yang Jiao Ai fulfilled his friend's dream and honored Zuo Bo Tao by giving him a proper burial. Okay, now. Go out and find your own story about friendship, and use the story of Yang Jiao Ai and Zuo Bo Tao to tell it well. 写下你们关于友谊的故事吧，期待你们的精彩故事哟。